you're gonna have to excuse the face today for all of us I think so this little guy is feeling a bit better but it's still but I want that kind of medicine yeah oh I can't, hold on I'm gonna show it you got this kind of medicine and we love it every day okay because earlier he had one with a syringe and it didn't go down very well <laughs> and what do you have in your cup so much water. And what does it do? It um, make people feel bad. Yeah. That's like at the day when I got the so belly. Yeah. And, and now I got the, uh, and now I'm all bad. My belly can't so anymore. Mm hmm So um, in the night he was. It got more temperature again, it went over 40.3 degrees and it's just scary when it happens but it's fine now. Well, it's still his temperature is starting to rise again so I mm. give him more ibuprofen. It does better than the paracetamol. It's not paracetamol is not doesn't seem to work as well mm. at the minute, so I'm sticking to the ibuprofen and if need be I will alternate both. But I'm trying to keep it on the minimum possible for as long as I can just to have a step up if need be. I have no idea what it is. Uh, the only symptom he has is that he has you cold symptoms. What do you want me to help you with? You get this down. Let me see. Oh, this very one. There we go. Now you can put the lid on. Um, so basically he has cold symptoms and he's throwing up but I think that's just because of the phlegm. I don't think it's something to do with is barely you know being upset so so I've just learned a lesson the really hard way and uh, do you remember the London guards I was so proud of myself I had all finished and all I just had to stuff and all I stuffed one of those and I thought oh something doesn't look normal on them turned out I used the wrong pattern I used an old pattern piece for the front of the hatch a uh, hat which I don't know why I hadn't thrown out and I had left in the folder with all the pattern pieces um, and you didn't notice until it was stuffed so basically I now have to reopen all the seams remove that piece of fabric remove the piece of fabric for the face because the eyes are now not in the right place and put them back on, the proper ones back on stitch everything over again stuff them and close them which is not going to be able to happen before my sister goes so i'm really annoyed <laughs> i was so proud of myself that i had got so much done and turned out i made a big mistake which i just realized now anyway there are more important things in life than pattern pieces it's only delaying it by a week it's not a big big deal really um, so I'm going to contact the person whose order it is. Luckily it is uh, somebody I know, uh, so I'm sure she'll understand. Um, I can't today because when he's sick I just can't do a million things. I have to take care of him. Anyway, I finished the whale cushion. I will finish all the Christmas decorations and these ones will have to wait until next week. Nah. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to now iron the cl bed clothes for the bed so then I will make the bed and that will be the room all ready and then I will have to tidy up the living room again because remember yesterday when I tidied up everything when well, I'm going to show you what happens when you have children so this is my couch so it has Owen's quilt on it then while well, my table is just clearing up then the fireplace is crowded again um, there's the weight cushion over there and then here I have stuffing down there, breakfast stuff here, some sewing there, cushions are all over the place. It's not, it looks, um, it's not as bad as it looks, but yeah. Anyway, also, um, I bought, remember the pyjamas bottoms I bought? Those ones. I bought them in Tesco's the other day. Uh, mites have decided to eat them, so they are covered in holes at the back of a leg. And... <laughs> this is just, why is what's going on today it's just mental anyway I will get some um, mite 
repellent thing i have some little uh, tablets you put in with the clothes i had some i have some in my airing cupboard and um but i didn't put any with the clothes yet so i'm going to do that before the rest of our clothes gets eaten through uh, if you have any good um idea for how to repel them without using anything too harsh um i would love to know write it in the comment please <laughs> i'm going to do my ironing so these are the bed sheets i'm going to use iron on board and i have some tv and some breakfast <laughs> at the same time multitasking there's the room already so i've made the bed it's very hard to make this quilt flat it's very fluffy and put some towels on and this is all clear so i have places to put the stuff as well we have had our lunch owen is playing um lego avengers is that what it's called lego, game. LEGO marvel lego game it's called apparently but it's the, yes um and the fever is staying down with the painkillers which is a good thing um so and he seems to be having a bit more color on his face and a bit more like himself uh, but it's a pajamas day <laughs> i am um going to have a rest now because i need to drive to the airport and back so it's a half an hour drive uh, no one and a half hour drive trying to make sure i'm not too tired um and then i want to have a shower before i go because i'm sure the girls would want a shower eventually after traveling and this way they have full access to the hot water um yeah so i, I can't really realize that they're arriving today it's very weird it's always like that whenever people come and visit us um but yeah, are you excited or when that baby is going to be here soon? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you're going to be okay to come to the airport or do you think you're going to wait here? Um, uh, I mean, I'm not going to be there yet. But you, no, it's not time yet, but whenever it's time to go to the airport, do you want to come to the airport yes. or do you want to stay here? Um, I'll go to the airport. Okay. We'll have to wait and see to make sure you feel better then, okay? Um, today. <laughs> he always said, like last night he was, he had a 40 <laughs> temperature and he said, I'll be better on Friday. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so he's better apparently. Um, but um, yeah, so he'll come with me then and probably Alfie will stay with James. So then I don't have to bring the buggy etc with me and it's a lot easier to have one of them than the two. Um, yeah, so I am going to rest a little bit now and I will catch up with you later on. We just got a flyer in the letterbox and there is something that really annoyed me. I'm going to show it to you and can you see anything that really makes you annoyed? Here. Yeah. Why can they not use a spell check? This is not how you spell brochure. This is spelling brochure. Would you like a, a brochure? And apparently, um, it's at the end, n at the first line, next extra income with the flexibility to work in from home. What does this even mean? Next extra income. It's probably net extra okay. income. But would you trust somebody who cannot even spell um, or use a spell check? Apparently, it's a cash rich and debt free company that has been in business for 36 years. Yet, they cannot even afford to turn on the spell check before printing um, flyer. So um, this is the best way to make me not even look at the product and make me put something straight in the bin, which is what will happen with this amazing um, aloe vera, 100% pure aloe vera stuff. Anyway, round over. So Owen is preparing some pictures for everybody. And I've wrapped the present. Bubbles and then, and now what are we making this this. Yeah, you can put some stamps, that's a good idea. It seems to be much better, so. And Alfie has been asleep for an yeah. hour and a half, which is good, so we might end up all going to the airport in the end. Um, I'm wrecked, <laughs> so is James. But, um, yeah. We'll probably both go. me? Yes, of course you. you. Uh, who do you think should go to the airport? Just you and me or also Daddy and Alfie too? Just me and you. 
this menu. Yeah, I'm sure she will love it. She does, or you know already? Yeah. So remember when you do cards for people, you need to stick some tape like this. Uh, you see? No, not like that. Not like that, okay. We're not making a card. A card? No, no we're not making it like that. Okay. This uh, abstract art at its finest. So Owen is going to get dressed now, so I'm going to magic him into his clothes. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Right, you show me something first, okay? Yeah, he may. Sort of yeah, that's very nice. I'm sure they'll be very happy. Now, will, will, will you enjoy your clothes? Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. And ta da! Wow. He's all dressed. How about no um, shoes? Okay, go and get your red shoes. Do you know in the green boxes with the shoes? Yes. Go and get your red ones. Now it's going to be my turn to go for a shower, get dressed. We're going in about 45 minutes. James is already dressed. Alfie is still asleep, I cannot believe it. I'm sure he will wake up. Yeah, he's starting to start a little bit. So um, I'm just going to put him in pyjamas uh, just so when we come back, he's already ready for bed. Um, yeah. oh, I know when he's not completely better because I think you know your child whenever you know he's not completely himself 100% yet. But compared to what it was yesterday, well, last night, it's much, much better. So I'm confident, hopefully, that's it. Um, don't want a chicken set. It might not be it. I don't know. It's very unpredictable with children. But anyway, I'm hoping next year, next week in school is able to go because basically every single day there is something specific. Did you find your shoes? Yeah. Right, come and bring them over. So on Monday, they have like a sponsored... Uh, day kind of thing where well, they have a bouncy castle so they have a sponsored bounce on Tuesday they have an animal farm coming to the school Wednesday is the only thing where they, there's nothing Thursday they have their school pictures and Friday they have a little Halloween party when they go dressed up so um, yeah I wouldn't really want him to miss any of this uh, sounds like fun and tomorrow he has dance class so hopefully he feels good enough to go yeah yeah um on today went uh on today on the day I saw this day and I saw the other day and I saw the other day I would you see the bad and that would make me see the other to make so I see bad every day. Oh that's good then. For okay. quite a long time. It takes quite a long time? Yes. But soon you'll be better, won't you? Yes, on the day. On the day, okay. On oh. which day you talked about? Uh, you said is it Saturday? Uh, That's tomorrow. Do you think it'll be better for tomorrow? Yes. Okay, good. We are about to leave for the airport now. My hair is still wet because I'm just literally out of the shower. It's a bit rushed. But we need to go, so we'll see you later. We have arrived at the airport now. They should have landed, but we don't know yet where in the car park, so I'm going to go over to the terminal and see. What are you doing, Owen? I told my power to come into the to hug a baby to get the on time. Mm -hmm. We are back home now and we're about to have dinner and we have a party food style thing with tea to crisps and Christmas party food, pistachios, peanuts, these little souffle things, some pizzas. You're having three of those? He loves the, uh, the peanuts, the pistachios and the crisps. All right, okay. Hello. It's now um, almost midnight. I've just realized I've left my phone, my camera to the side and I never filmed anything else, I'm afraid. So uh, it's probably going to be a very short vlog for today. It may be the case some of the days when my sister is here just because I just don't want to put a camera in people's face too much. So I apologize in advance if it is um, 
but it may mean having longer vlogs on the days we go for an outing so I hope it will kind of have a out in the end I'm off to bed now so I will see you tomorrow for another vlog bye <laughs>